First Alert Weather with Brian Allworth is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. It is shaping up to be yet another really nice day for us, although a little windier, a little warmer too than yesterday. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. The warmer part anyway it will be a little gusty though. Current temps in the 50s and low 60s. It wasn't quite as cool this morning. Still nice outside though. Calm winds right now. Dew points still pretty reasonable, but those numbers will be creeping back up too thanks to these strong south winds. Other than that, to no major issues for us, at least for today. It'll be dry again today, and that's probably a good thing because more heavy rain is likely in the area late tomorrow into Friday. But uh, we do have active weather north of here with some rain, even some snow up toward the upper Mississippi Valley and some snow over the northern Rockies as well. But uh, again, for us, a dry day, just a little on the windy side as we go through the day, especially this afternoon and uh, gusty south winds about 15 to 25 or so. Not super windy, no advisories for today. Tonight will be breezy and mild, and then tomorrow, perhaps even windier, but more importantly, late tomorrow, cold front slowly approaches from the west with a gradually increasing chance of showers and storms. Most of tomorrow looks to be dry, but by late afternoon and evening, here come the thunderstorms. Some of these could be strong or even severe. Remember, we're outlooked for severe. Then they move across the area and kind of weaken overnight tomorrow night. And then a second round of active weather develops by about midday Friday. These are not expected to be severe, but some thunder, some lightning and some heavy downpours possible for us Friday and Friday evening. So yeah, two rounds of active weather on the way today. Then it looks pretty good by comparison. Highs by 80, 81, 82, 83 degrees today. Breezy, warm, a little bit more humid, but not bad. Mild, dry tonight, lows near 60. Those south winds continue overnight. But yeah, late tomorrow into tomorrow night, a good chance of showers and storms. Another round of non-severe storms on Friday with some heavy downpours possible. The weekend looks dry, but a lot cooler, especially Saturday, kind of a cool, breezy Saturday. And then another thing to keep an eye on, if you're, especially if you're a gardener or a farmer, Nothing terrible right now, but it does look as though it could get just cold enough for a little scattered frost, especially on Monday morning. That will depend on the wind and the sky conditions, but looks pretty chilly Monday morning. And then we slowly warm back up again as we go through next week.